Hello everyone, Madam Ro here today and I would like to share with you um, a layout on glass that I created for my friend Crafty Adriana recently, well not recently, a couple months ago um, I did a giveaway and she won my giveaway over on my Glam Crafts Inc. channel and one of the um, gifts was to either to get um, I had three choices and she picked a handmade gift from me. So um, it took me a long time because I've been super busy and I finally got a chance to finish her project and I really hope that she likes it. So I am going to share with you what I created. So this is what I created and sorry you guys the lighting sucks. Um, like there's a lot of huge glare and very hard shadows but um I will post pictures on my blog so be sure to go over there and check out um, the photos and stuff that I have there so I created this Asian inspired piece I love all things Asian you guys know that and so I wanted to create something from the heart so you guys seen this image plenty of times um, what I did was um, this is a piece of glass and it's whenever you get a frame a picture frame it has the glass um, in it. I just took that glass out um, and used it. And so I wanted um, it to be very transparent. So I, I print, printed the image on transparency paper and then placed it on top of the glass. And what I did um, for the background, um, what I did here was I used the Primularic collection and I, you guys have been seeing a lot of projects with that. I just absolutely love that paper line. And then I also mixed um, the Teresa Collins, um, I think it's Vintage Finds, I believe, um, paper line as well for the, the, the clock pieces. So um, as you, what I did first was I, I took the glass and I sprayed it with some Lindy sprays um, and some... Um, Perfect Pearl Mists um, to get, you know, the pink and the gold kind of colors. So that's what that um, the color look is from, um, is from the Lindy Sprays. And then I placed the image, the transparency paper over it, to, so that way you can see the, the colors bleed through. Um, and then there's certain images that I wanted to look like it had the colors on it and then other images that didn't. So what I did was I put the Primic Lyric Collection, which is this music note paper, on the back part of um, the glass so that way it could show the colors through. And then I just put this um, right behind, directly behind the transparency paper so that way you wouldn't be able to see the colors there. And I did the same thing with these little clock pieces as well over here. So that's what I did um, to create that effect. It's very uh, mixed media and like girly and grungy all at the same time. And I absolutely love the way that it turned out. And so over here, I just put like a big cluster of Petaloo flowers and then some flowers from um, Shabby Sister's shop. Um, and then uh, these little acrylic... Um, sprays are from MB Treasurista and I absolutely love these things. You guys should definitely go over and use it. It just gives it like takes your um, floral arrangements on your project so it's the next level. So definitely a must have. And she has them in various colors but I just chose the pink and black because that's Adriana's um, favorite colors. Um, and so I made some um, rolled flowers here. Um, I just used book paper and then put some black soot distress ink over it to get it, give it the black um, tint to it. And so I just added that. And I just feel like no project is complete for me unless it has some rolled flowers. So I'm just like addicted. You guys see that on almost all my projects. And then I used some Scrabble tiles and spelled out the word beauty. Um, I used some of the, I wanted to um, incorporate some metal pieces there. And so, and you guys, this, this layout is inspired by Miss Miranda, Miss Liberty 25. She did her first Ustream um, class um, on where she taught us how to uh, create things on glass. So um, Miranda, thank you for the inspiration. And I absolutely am addicted now. <laughs> so I'm going to be making more stuff on glass. Um, so I used some metal pieces here um, and there. And then um, I have this resist canvas um, from the Premier Lyric collection. And I just sprayed it with some Lindy sprays and then distressed it with some black soot distress ink. 
Um, and then this is like a, um, a jewelry box pull that broke. So I decided to go ahead and use that there. And since we have a theme of clocks, I put a Tim Holtz um, clock arm, hand, whatever, <laughs> there. And then I have an arty cake charm here. And it just reminded me of like an Asian medallion. Um, so I, I thought it would fit. And then I loved, I wanted to add like bronze accents. So all the metal pieces minus the angel wings um, have that bronze tint to them. Um, and then I have these like, let me see if it'll focus. These little Asian um, coins here. And I got these from Hobby Lobby in the jewelry um, section. And so I wanted to incorporate that on there. So that's what I did. Um, and then I just put this um, black lace through here. And um, I got this from MB Treasurista in my design team package. And then I have another Arty Cake charm with the, the Asian um, symbol on it. And I thought it was very fitting. Um, and I wanted the crown to represent the crown of beauty here. And so that's what I did there. Um, and then I added a little coin, another Asian coin there. And then I created a fan using the Prima Lyric papers and then added some black lace behind there. And then just added some cherry blossoms, flowers throughout over here. Um, I wanted this to kind of look like a little um, cherry blossom tree a little bit by using like the little um, acrylic sprays. Also from MB Treasury. So this is the same sprays that I use over here. I use these chopsticks that I got from a Japanese place. You guys, I eat sushi all the time. So I always save the chopsticks. So um, that's what I did. I used the chopsticks here um, and just added various flowers. And then, you know, my thing is adding pearls. So I just sporadically added pearls there. And then um, I used this chipboard piece from One to Scrap um, that says Dream. And then I just sprayed it with Lindy Sprays and some Perfect Pearl Mist there. And so... Oh, I also used a stamp that I got in a rack from Jen. She gave me this Asian-themed stamp. And let's see if you can see it. And you can kind of see it here behind um, the image. And I also stamped it over here, but then it ended up getting covered up. Um, and I did it, I stamped it directly on the glass. So this is my project, and I think that's everything. I will give you guys one last look. And I'm so sorry about the lighting, you guys. Um, like I said, pictures will be on my blog, so feel free to go check out my blog there. So, and then the back, I just have the Teresa Collins um, paper back there. So that way, because you can see the glue, the, ba the bad thing about working on glasses, you can see all the glue and stuff on the background. And I wanted it to have like a completed look. So I just went ahead and um, pa um, put the Teresa Collins paper on the back so you guys let me know what you think adriana i really hope that you like this and congratulations for winning my giveaway and um yeah you guys have an awesome day